The coolest part about my job is I get to help keep this aircraft flying safely. At my workplace, an aircraft mechanic could do several different things. You might be a structures person, and that's working on the metal of the aircraft, the skins, the skeleton of the aircraft. You also might work on engines, so that's overhauling the engines and getting them ready for flight. Or you could be working on a system, hydraulic systems primarily. A typical day for an aircraft mechanic would start with meeting with your lead hand or your supervisor and finding out what the plan is for the day. From there, you'd have to go and gather up the tools and the parts that you would need to carry out your job. I am currently working in the component shop, and so we have all kinds of things that have been removed from the aircraft. Seats, doors, windows. So they come to us and we overhaul them. So we would make fabric repairs, we could make metal repairs, we'd use riveting, we would use composites like fiberglass, lathes and milling machines, and we can, anything that you can imagine, we can build it. One of the most fun things that an aircraft mechanic might do would be working on a system such as the landing gear and the brakes. We jack the aircraft up off the ground to simulate flight and then we function the brake system and the doors to ensure that everything's working properly. There's a tremendous amount of responsibility for an aircraft mechanic. We are working on aircraft and we're all mindful of that. We're mindful of the fact that myself, my child, my grandmother might fly in an aircraft that I've worked on and as a consequence, we take a lot of pride, we take a lot of time and ensure that our work is done to the utmost quality so that no one is hurt by the work that we do. I love that I'm constantly making decisions. I love that I'm constantly learning. If you were interested in becoming an aircraft mechanic, you should probably focus on science and math and, and in addition, because there's so many technical publications, you have to be a good reader. So you have to be able to read, comprehend, and then put that to practice after you've read it. My advice to you is to enroll in a co-op program if you can at your high school. If you can't do that, take a shop class. If you can't do that, learn how to use tools. Learn how to swing a hammer. Keep your horizons open. Keep your options open. You never know where your life might take you.